get set for the Lord of the Rings and a little green visitor. Hi, this is Andrew Fazakis, the Night Sky Guy, and this week we track down the first comet of the year that's fast approaching the inner solar system, and it's just in time for International Year of Astronomy. Called Comet Lulin, it was first discovered by 19-year-old amateur astronomer in China back in 2007, and it's now become visible in binoculars as a fuzzy ball. You can hunt it down out at dawn in the eastern skies in the constellation Libra. Already amateur astronomers around the world have been snapping amazing photos through telescopes showing off its wispy tail and eerie green glow. This glow is actually caused by cyanogenous gas erupting from within the comet nucleus. In the next couple of weeks, the comet's going to undergo some big changes as it gets closer to the Sun and Earth and predictions are already holding that it will become visible to the naked eye as it continuously grows bigger and brighter. So stay tuned. Meanwhile, this Wednesday morning, look towards the western sky and see the near full moon pair up with star-like Saturn. If you've got a telescope, train it on it because you'll notice that the gas giant's rings are nearly edge-on. This rare event only happens every 12 years or so, so don't miss it. You don't know where to hunt down a comet? Don't have a telescope to see Saturn's rings? Then here's your chance to get a guided tour with experts. International Year of Astronomy means that there are amateur astronomers putting on tons of stargazing parties right across the country. To find out what's happening in your neck of the woods, log on to www.astronomy2009.ca. For more stargazing tips, check out my website, thenightskyguide.com.